Today we're diving into the fascinating world of time series forecasting using Google Cloud's powerful artificial intelligence suite, Vertex AI. I promise it's not as intimidating as it may sound. Imagine we have a time series data source, like data from IoT sensors. We want to analyze that data, and we're going to leverage Vertex AI to do so. Vertex AI is Google Cloud's comprehensive end-to-end -end machine learning platform. We'll specifically be using its AutoML capabilities for our forecasting work, which means minimal coding and machine learning engineering required on our part. Pretty cool, right? In a real-world scenario, you'd likely need a message queue and real-time data ingestion system to support this type of architecture. For example, PubSub could receive the IoT device messages, then Dataflow could process that data in real-time or batch mode. The process data would then feed into Vertex AI. For this demo, we'll work backwards from Vertex AI for simplicity. Let's start by going to the Vertex AI page in our new GCP project and enabling the recommended APIs. Once enabled, let's explore the data set section under the data portion of the Vertex AI suite. This is where we'll upload the data that our AutoML models will be built on. Vertex AI supports text, image, video, and tabular data. Today, we're focusing on numeric data for forecasting. We'll create our dataset in the US Central One region. We have a few options for importing our data. CSV files, or BigQuery. We'll use a CSV file for this demo. Let's quickly generate that CSV using Cloud Shell. You can find the complete example code in the GitHub repo linked in the video description. In our data generation script, we'll create some synthetic sales data with an overall increasing trend, combining a linear component with some randomness. Let's run the script and take a look at the output data. We see the general upward trend with daily fluctuations, even an occasional dip in sales between certain days. Looks good. Next, we need to upload the CSV to a cloud storage bucket so we can import it into Vertex AI. In the Cloud Console, let's create a new multi-region bucket with the default settings. Back in our IDE, we'll use the gsutil command to copy our generated CSV into the new bucket. Refresh the bucket view, and there's our data file. Heading back to Vertex AI datasets, let's choose to import data by selecting a CSV from cloud storage. We'll browse for the file we just uploaded. One important note, for optimal forecasting results, the target column needs to be numeric, and you should aim to have 1,000 rows or more, up to a maximum limit. Since we only generated data for 20 days, let's go back and modify our script to generate 20,000 days worth of data instead. We'll rerun the script and overwrite the CSV in cloud storage with this expanded data set. After refreshing the import, 
Vertex AI has auto-detected the two columns in our data, date and sales. We need to specify that date is our timestamp column and sales is the target column we want to forecast. Before training a model, it's a good idea to have Vertex AI generate statistics about our data to check for any issues. After a minute or two of processing, we get back some useful stats like the number of unique values and total rows, 20,000 each, matching our expanded data generation. Everything looks in order. We're ready to train our first model. Clicking the Train New Model button brings us to the model selection page. If you're not sure which model type is best for your data, Vertex AI will suggest the best fit. There are models available for a variety of data types and use cases. For this demo, we'll choose the sequence to sequence model as it has a shorter training time. However, we've hit a snag. The model requires a unique identifier column and our data doesn't have one. Let's create it. Back in our data generation script, we'll add a new series column that simply contains the string sales for every row serving as an identifier. We'll regenerate the CSV and update the cloud storage file once more. Returning to Vertex AI and refreshing the dataset import, we now see our new series identifier column. With that in place, we can proceed with the training in our sequence to sequence model. We'll specify the sales column as our target variable. In the additional training options, we can set the number of days to forecast and the amount of historical data the model should consider for its predictions. Let's forecast 30 days ahead with a 30 day context window. Feel free to explore the Advanced Options tab if you'd like to customize things like data granularity, rolling window strategy, or the training evaluation data split. Under Feature Types, we see Vertex AI has automatically detected the date and sales columns as valid covariant features for forecasting. It's important to understand that the model will rely on the future dates we provide to make its sales predictions since we can't expect it to know the actual future sales figures. The recommended training time scales with the size of your dataset. Even though an hour may seem short, it's sufficient for our 20,000 row dataset. Larger datasets over 100,000 rows will benefit from longer training. We'll kick off the training job, which will run in the background so we can continue using the Vertex AI console. We can monitor the training progress on the Models page. Once complete, we'll receive an email notification. After about an hour of training and grabbing a coffee, our model is ready. In practice, Vertex AI excels at forecasting with multiple related time series and variables. Despite this, we can still proceed with generating predictions to get a sense of the end-to-end -end workflow. Forecasting in Vertex AI is handled through batch prediction jobs.
we'll need to provide another CSV file containing the future dates for which we want predictions. Let's create a new script to generate just the date column, starting from the end of our training data. We'll upload this dates CSV to another cloud storage bucket in the same region as our model. With the input and output files staged, we can create a batch prediction job. Let's enable the model monitoring feature to get some bonus statistics on our prediction results. The batch prediction job may take a few minutes to complete. Once finished, we can review the output files to see our sales forecast for the next 30 days. The results include the predicted sales values, historical actual values, and some model evaluation metrics. With model monitoring enabled, we also get statistics on the distribution skew between our training and prediction input data. This can alert us if the fresh data is drifting significantly from what the model was trained on. And there we have it. Our sales forecast shows predicted values ranging between $15,000 to $25,000 over the next 30 days. Of course, there's much more we could do to refine and improve this forecast. We could incorporate additional relevant variables, factor in seasonality, or play with the training configuration. Vertex AI provides the tools and flexibility to progressively enhance your time series forecasting models. We hope this real-world demo of time series forecasting with Vertex AI has been insightful. Feel free to post any questions in the comments below. You'll find all the code samples, CSV files, and architecture diagrams used in this tutorial linked in the video description. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. As always, please enjoy responsibly.